Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. This time I just felt like doing it in English and because I was in the mood for it, I just went with the flow. I'm not sure, I'm, I haven't figured out or looked into the subtitles, how well they do by translating it automatically for my German viewers or even uh, the English subtitles. So I guess I will figure it out <laughs> over the next few videos because today I have a kind of a big haul, big puzzle haul. I bought quite a bunch of puzzles but only from one seller. So she was um, giving up her collection I saw a few of the puzzles online and I liked some of them so I asked her to like be able to buy them and when we got there she had another pile of puzzles in the other room and she just showed me so I decided like like not all of them were my kind but she offered me all together with the first pile in one big bundle so I appreciated it and I got all of them. I'm not a hundred percent sure if I will keep every one of them but most of them are pre I'm really happy about and glad to have it. The other fun part is that uh, most of them are Ravensburger or Ravensburger <laughs> for the Germans. I know there's like a discussion how to pronounce it so in Germany, the German com like the companies from Germany, they call themselves Ravensburger, but I'm pretty sure they will as well like in meetings or something, uh, which are held in English, will say Ravensburger. So in my opinion, it doesn't matter how you pronounce it. I think both are fine. That's just the English way to say it. But just so you know, the the way they say their company name in Germany is Ravensburger. So yeah, uh, a lot of those and a few Schmidt puzzle and those two are my one of my favorite brands for puzzling. They have a great quality. I have lots of them. I have some collections um, started with each brand. So of course I get even more of them to finish the collection. And then I have two other brands uh, as well, which I will show you too. So let's get started. Here we have the very first puzzle and that was the one that got me excited. <laughs> that's the puzzle. So that's why I bought all of the others because I basically wanted this one. The fun part is though, I already have this one. Um, I bought it second hand and the seller told me it's in great condition, all pieces are there. But while puzzling or finishing it, I figured out there was one piece missing. So, because I enjoyed this image so freaking much and I, I even did it a couple of times even though a piece was missing, I figured that one day if there's a good price somewhere, I will buy it again and give the other one which is uh, missing a piece away, like someone who doesn't care about the missing piece or just for fun, for doing it, I don't know, we will see. But I really, really wanted to keep a version of this puzzle, of this image in my collection with all the pieces. And I was uh, looking for uh, maybe over a year, on, yeah, one to two years uh, to get it, to find a good price. Because I mean, you can still find it in the shops and even on Ravensburger website. It was still listed at the beginning when I started searching for it, but because I already had it and I, because I already paid for it some part, like some day, I just figured I only want to buy it if it's a great deal for me. And this was it because it was a, such a big pile of puzzles, um, like the whole price together was a reasonable price. Uh, together with all the other puzzles I have. Let me quickly check. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I have 16 1000 piece puzzle, and then I have like 10 or 12 of a smaller piece count puzzles, which I probably will show in a second video because otherwise it will be too long. So I will do the 1000 puzzles now, show you all of them, all of the 16 ones. 
and in a second we show you all the smaller ones. The exciting uh, part actually about all of this purchase <laughs> is that all of the puzzles are still string wrapped. They're completely new, never, no one ever did them. Most of them, almost all of them are in perfect condition, perfect shape. I just have like two or three where the cardboard is damaged or pressed into or something like that. I will show you of course that as well. But all of the other ones are string wrapped. So that was even more exciting to have this one for a reasonable price. <laughs> never did and still string wrapped so yeah that's it i mean i i guess you know the picture it's great it's a collage of all the disney characters or most of them uh they, those are the films or the movies from older times and it's great the only difficult part is the golden frame because it looks always the same but you still can be able to finish it really quickly have fun while doing it it's so colorful so much going on so you will always find something to do some area to keep on going and yeah i really love it you also can find this image for a 500 piece puzzle from Ravensburger in case you're interested so enough of this beauty let's go to the next one It's another Disney puzzle from Ravensburger. This is the, oh, let me just quickly tell you how it's called in case you're looking for it. It is called the best Disney themes or the schönsten Disney theme uh, to say it in German. And it's copyrighted by 2006. Okay. So the image is a bit older, longer on the market. Okay, next one, this beauty. It is called Disney's World Map or Disney's Weltkarte. And this describes it perfectly. <laughs> you see here is the globe, the world, and all around are Disney figures. Here on top are the princesses. You see here Jungle Book, Peter Pan, uh, the 101 Dalmatian, Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, and so on. But the even more fun part is that here on the world map, you can see all the characters from the special, like from the movies that they were in, in the specific land or country or area where the, where the movie was taking place, where the story was taking place. So you have, for example, here, Aristocats in France or Paris even. You have um, Sitch and Lilo on, close to Hawaii. You see here Hawaii, but they're on, in, this, in the ocean. You have Pocahontas over here. Oh, here is Ariel. Oh yeah, here on Old Africa is the Lion King movie. I remember that they traveled to one specific spot to do all the drawing and figuring out the story and everything. But here they decided to put them all out over Africa. Here in Australia you see Finding Nemo. Yeah. And here's Milan in China and so on. And on top of that there are also like sightseeing attractions or like the main monuments which are known for the area so you kind of get a little bit of an in information <laughs> a second information which country you're looking at for example for germany here you see the big castle which is uh, neuschwanstein castle and that's the castle that ex inspired the cinderella castle like the main disney castle we all know and which is at the beginning of every movie that's inspired from the german Neuschwanstein castle. You see Moscow here, you have the Taj Mahal over here in India. Oh, you even have Jungle Book in India, great. You have here New York, Statue of Liberty, here's Brazil, so it's really nice and I'm looking forward to open it up to do it and just have fun and see all the little details. But yeah, that's it. That's the second one. I also saw this and the first picture in order to get there and I was excited. So here's another one. Next one. Again, Disney themed. 
I guess that's the la yeah, I think that's the last Disney themed. I probably won't keep this one because I already have it, but I love it. If I wouldn't have it, I would be already, I would be so excited. This is a panorama, like photo shoot. You see Mickey Mouse here. He's in front of an old camera and all of the characters are lined up to do a group photo. It's so fun. You see a little bit of the sky and fireworks over here and it's beautiful it's so beautiful they try to like match the right size of each character compared to the other ones and it doesn't look like they're all separately photoshopped all my neighbors are drilling i really hope you don't hear it <laughs> maybe let's wait a second okay i hope they're done it is this one is called it's just called group photo and in German it's called Disney Gruppenfoto copyrighted in 2009 yeah I remember to ha having I remember, sorry they're so loud okay I remember having it for a long time already so yeah but it's still so beautiful it's gorgeous so here's the next one again at Ravensburger. I kind of ordered them a little bit by brand. This is the um, Coral Bay Korallenbucht. Oh, sorry. It's beautiful. It's colorful. It's gorgeous. And you see two jumping dolphins. A few more dolphins in the water. Plenty of colorful fish and corals. And of course, beach and palm trees. It's really beautiful. I, I already once did this puzzle, so it's not completely new to me, but I'm still happy to have a cardboard is in perfect condition. It's still string wrapped, so yeah, I'm happy. So, and now you will probably start uh, to figure out which are the favorite animals of the selling person <laughs> because, <laughs> ta-da. <laughs> We will have a lot of puzzles with wolves. Wolves and cats. Those two are the main animals which are coming next. To be honest, like I love animals for sure. I do like wolves and something more mystery, magical, twilight. But I'm not the biggest fan of those images. I think this one is probably one of the best out of it. You see a wolf family here, a little river, rainbow and some bunch of other birds and butterflies around. It's in a forest area. You see mushrooms and it's called summer wolves. And German was Wolfsfamilien Sommer. <laughs> Copyrighted 2019. I think that's still the happiest, a few dots of color, it's probably not that difficult to finish it, so yeah, maybe I try this one, but I will show you the other ones now. Oh, and this one has a dent in here, like you can see that something hard or heavy was standing on it, so it got indent. here we have the next one again wolves as you can see this one is called winter wolves winter wölfe again a family of wolves um it is snowing again in a forest there's one owl so it's like later in the day or evening i'm not sure if that's the sun covered by clouds or the moon because it's too bright to be the moon but however here's a castle in the background so yeah um, beautiful image but it's basically just white and blue kind of i think it's manageable of course to finish it but i don't know i'm not sure if it's fun to have like all the same colors all the time so yeah not sure about it it was copyrighted 2017 again perfect condition string wrap i will see i will figure it out if i want to keep it if i want to do it try it if one of you, of course, is interested. Just let me know. And either way, like if you're interested to do it on a channel or to like 
or have it yourself up to you another wolf family surprise <laughs> uh, again winter theme this is called arctic wolves arctische wölfe again a cute family it's probably mom and dad and their cute you say puppies with, with wolves i guess so right yeah another owl here's a snow bunny or a white bunny here's a white mouse <laughs> doesn't look really realistic it's just photoshopped in kind of <laughs> here's another white owl um and the proportion don't match but yeah I don't know, it's again almost the same color and you have here this white bluish and up here is the only little lighter part. It's definitely manageable and it will be beautiful if you have put it all together but is it so, so much fun doing it? I guess it is if you love wolves like the seller does then I'm pretty sure it's awesome but it's not my favorite animal so let's see. Now is a puzzle coming with one of my favorite animals, <laughs> but ta da! <laughs> but I'm not really sure if I'm hundred thousand percent want to do it uh, because again of almost the same color everywhere. It's great to have a challenge uh, once or like up and then. I also have like the solid color puzzles or the crip black puzzles or something like that. Oh no, my neighbors! Okay, <laughs> that's a 1500 Ravensburger puzzle. It is called Lord of the Plains or, the, or Herr der Steppe. It's an older image. You can tell, you can even tell by the design of the box. It has a green Pisca. I really hope you don't hear them. It has a green puzzle here and a green sign. Yeah, like this puzzle piece is green. The number is in a different shade that it is nowadays. Oh. And you see, um, here you have like the premium puzzle soft click technology, uh, which is now everywhere on, on the boxes. And since then they changed a little bit of the design. So you know for sure that was before that. Uh, let me check. It was copyrighted in 2000, the image. And Raymond's Porsche before like copyrighted it 2000 as well. So yeah, it's probably around 23 years old. Probably. I could uh, try and figure it out, check it out, but I just want you to show all the puzzles for now and get into the details maybe later. Maybe you really want me to try this one and see me struggling with the background and the sky. But yeah, let me know. I will still try it, of course, and I will have a lot of fun for sure. Uh, just for the image again, you see here the big head of the, it's, I'm pretty sure, a leopard. And in the tree is another leopard or maybe even the same one lying on a lying on a tree basically okay probably because of the reason why it's that old oh you even see the old background see that's even the old back back part of the Ravensburg puzzle this is the back almost besides of this little piece um, that's the one I grew up with that was on all the puzzles the backdrop oh no neighbors that is the backdrop that we have for the past years, which is on all the puzzles. The same basically. So yeah, that was one of the older ones. And also, you still see, like it's still string wrap. Imagine, like it's 23 years, probably around about years old, and never open. No one ever did it. It's kind of sad, but also a little bit exciting, so. I think I have to keep it. Um, when I also wanted to show you, like this one is damaged, probably because of how old it is. Here is a big dent. The cardboard is damaged here. It's damaged on the sides. Uh, the corners are 
damaged over here. But yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Um, for that all. And what you can see, you see the string wrap. Do you remember when being a child and something was string wrap that you could um, write in it when you use your fingernail? Like, that's the same as this one. They must have changed string wraps, I don't know, like 10 years ago or so. But the new ones now, you can't um, write with your fingernails on it. They won't leave marks. And they're easier, like they're thinner and easier to open up and they're softer. This one is pretty sturdy. <laughs> yeah, and you can write on it. That's great. So yeah, definitely, I guess, a key of uh, something nice to remember. I don't want to say vintage. I don't think that's okay to say it, but it is kind of, right? Okay, oh gosh. Just a second. Okay, so there are eight more to come. Oh, I guess probably should be a little bit faster. <laughs> I have eight more puzzles from the 1000 to show you. And now I have four of the Brand Schmidt puzzles. And that's the first one. It is a Schmidt Puzzle 1000 design or a design by Lisa Parker. You see here her logo and the name. It is called Magical Cats Magische Katzen. You see a big cat in the middle, a few, a bunch of other cats around, some witchy things like a broom. That's how you say it, right? A witch broom, yeah? And a kettle and books and yeah, it's really magical, mystical, so ever. It's part of a um, collection, of course, you can see, maybe you see it. Uh, there's the cats, there are the wolves, owls and unicorns. And by saying that, you already see, of course, the wolves here. <laughs> That's the second one. So we have the cats and the wolves over here. Both are from Lisa Parker. This is the wolf one. A big, like two wolves in the middle of the moon and a bunch of them around it. This one is called Magnificent Wolves Prächtige Wölfe. Yeah. To be honest, both are not my cup of tea. <laughs> I don't like the design, the style. Um, maybe this one is a little bit cuter. I love witchy things. I love mystical things as well. Um, magical, witchy, I love it. I just don't like the layout of the things and I don't like that it's... Well, I don't know how she did it, but it looks so Photoshop like put together like each was a single piece and it was just put next to each other, you know I, I'm really not sure it's not painted at least not in like real paint Maybe painted on a iPad or something, but I'm not sure about that. I don't know how she did it Lisa Parker you, you did great puzzles. They're beautiful, but it's not for me. I don't really know maybe i try to do the kitty cat one and then just give it to a friend of mine or something like that not sure okay next two oof here we have it i guess <laughs> i guess we finally made it to have the last is it the last one? I'm not sure, but maybe it's the last wolf puzzle <laughs> in the whole collection. And again, it's not my kind of style. You have the big cat here, the moon flying in the air, water, fireplace, some more wolves. Again, Schmidt puzzle, as you can see. Love the brand, love the quality. Uh, this one is called Wolf in the Moonlight, Wolf im Mondlicht. Yeah, I mean, what else can you say? Um, even though most of it is purple, I think it won't be all the same purple. I guess they're different 
shades, variations of purple. So pretty sure this is an easy one. Like you, you can tell which is the big one, which are the small ones. You can tell what is the moon, what is water almost. I think that's really fast, um, doable for a 1000 piece puzzle with mainly one color in it. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the one. I appreciate that all of them are string wrapped in here. That's so great. And here's a fun one. I saw this on the picture app, but I only saw like the little, little pot over here in the stack uh, of pile. So I thought it's a different one. I thought it's the land map with all the colors. Like they have the same colors, the two images and um, some animals I, th I think on the other map, uh, on the other puzzle, like on the map, on the image puzzle and the puzzle image. <laughs> okay, calm down. But yeah, yeah, I just saw at home that it's not the one I thought I'm, I'm buying. But I'm glad anyway. Like it's kind of a gradient or is it called gradient if it's like one way? I think so. It's a gradient of here, the uh, animals living in cold areas with snow and ice, the jungle and safari or African desert animals. You have underwater and deep water, like here are whales. And here are little fishies, and sea turtle, crocodile. Like it's, it's cute, it's so cute, and one rainbow. It's nice. I think it's it's great to have. I think it will be so much fun to do it. Um, I'm really happy. I'm not sure if I would have bought it firsthand from a shop and a, and a normal price. I would probably would have taken other ones first. But now that I have it, I'm glad. I'm really glad. And again, perfect condition, completely new, never done. It is called Animal Kingdom. Die Welt der Tiere, to say it in German. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. So last, last four. And now we have two different brands. Just put that here. Now, unfortunately, you will see again the other main, main animal dominating all of those images. The person, I have to say, that person had two kitty cats, and they were both named after Disney characters. So that was cute. That was fun. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious that. Oh no, there's another wolf one. Oh, I was wrong before. Okay, let's start with this ones here. These ones. Oh, here we have two from the brand Truffle. I'm not sure if everyone knows Truffle. Um, they're not really expensive. They're quite an okayish price, and I don't really know their quality. I think also quality is okayish, <laughs> so that's why I'm more like I never went for them on purpose but now I have some of them I'm eager to try out how their quality really is and in case you are interested in it as well please let me know then I would save it for a video and I just do it by myself and give you a short review if it's a, like still fun and a great time doing it and the price is okay for it or it, is it like not fun at all and you just have to save even though it's cheaper than other ones you still have to keep your money by you and buy and like save and buy other ones which are more expensive but much more fun to do here you see kitty cats sleeping eating and a bunch of candy in the background it's like kind of a candy shop or something you have your chest chest figures yeah it's cute uh, I would appreciate it without the kittens even more, I think, but I love all the colorful and cute. Let me check because there are kittens on it. No, that's human food. That's so cute. I think those are um, candies for humans, but all of them have like a 
cat related name like Paul drops on perfect <laughs> stoppers and so on. That's cute. The artist is Steve Red or Reed. Not sure. It this one is called Cat Sweets and has no German name. But if you want to translate the French one, it's like Bonbons de Katzen. Süßigkeiten, der Katzen, Katzen Süßigkeiten, something like that. <laughs> and that's the background of truffle. Oh, wrong way around. Yeah, perfect condition, string wrap. Let me know if you want me to do it, to try it out. It's another one I would have. Uh, it's another kitty cat puzzle. Just kidding. Uh, it's called Fil Feline Meeting. Feline Meeting. I'm not sure. Le Rendezvous des Chats. Meaning of the cats, kind of. Uh, the artist is Marcello Corti. Marcello, Marcello, Corti. I don't know you, unfortunately, but yeah. Thank you for your collage, for your picture. Um, there are too many kitty cats looking at me for me to love it. So either like I will open this one as well and do it just to figure out if it's the exact same quality as the other one to be more sure that there's a like a continuity in their quality. Or I just, I don't know, give it to a friend. Let me know, let me know. And now, up to the last two puzzles. I'm excited about them. Ta-da! And the reason why I'm excited is it's a Eurographics puzzle. I never did one of those before. Those are, I don't know, I think it's a Canadian brand, right? Let me check. It doesn't say here. Oh, it says here, yeah. Eurographic Puzzles Canada. Printed and manufactured in EU. Okay, yeah. Well, this one is called Kitten Pride. It's by Andrew Forley. Forley. Um, I mean, it's pride, and I think that's fun to have puzzles and images according to pride. It's really subtle. You have here the rainbow and background. Those are, um, I guess, clothes, different clothes, and they're kind of in a closet with the shoes. Yeah, must be. Or it's curtains, but I don't think you have that many different curtains. So yeah, cute. <laughs> uh, rainbow, you have baby kittens. What else can I say? I can just tell you I'm excited for your graphics to try out. I heard, uh, oh, I heard, sorry, the light went off. I heard um, a few good reviews, so I want to test them. And it says smart card technology. I think they're random cut. I usually prefer the regular cut, um, but because I don't have, oh, because I don't have that many, I'm happy to have another one and to do, like have a change Oof. and here we have the last one another euro graphics again wolves wolves <laughs> totally not my vibe but pretty anyway it's called wolf family by anna stokes collection Oh, printed and manufactured in Germany. Really? In Germany? So it must be actually easier to get them. Why, why do I never see them in shops or even on Amazon? But great, cool. Uh, that bec That's interesting because here it says something different. It's just you. I'm not sure if that still means Germany. But this one is definitely made in Germany and by saying that, I mean it's probably, I'm pretty sure there are not a lot of different manufacturers who do puzzles in Germany. I 
I think I remember correctly that Ravensburger, Ravensburger is, has their own manufacturer in Ravensburg, like the city they're in. So in case there are not thousand other ones, there could be a chance that it, this one is made in one of the big company manufacturing houses <laughs> here in Germany. I don't know. I really want to look into this. I really want to know and figure it out. Uh, if you're interested as well, let me know. Then I can do a whole information with you like while doing one of those or maybe especially this one tell you what i figured out what i found out so could be interesting right let me know <laughs> so yeah those were all the big ones all the 1000 piece puzzles <sighs> i'm so excited <laughs> i'm so excited i wasn't planning on buying this money i wasn't planning on doing that but I'm still happy I did. I'm happy she showed me the big other pile of puzzles in the other room. And yeah, I'm not sure if I want to keep every single one of them or just like give it to a friend some of those. But the few I initially went there and wanted to buy them, I will keep for sure. And I'm so excited to start and do them. I'm not sure. I guess they're not that interesting. So I just do it by myself for fun in my free time but in case you really want to see some of them please let me know i prefer to puzzle with you like we're in the same room kind of and i will talk to you and um i will do a little bit of speed build in between and we exchange some information something like that like i enjoy doing those videos and pretending you're in the same room and we're just chatting always let me know also if you want to see other things like maybe my collections or my puzzle shelf or whatever you want to see let me know and um, write me a comment please on it um, if you enjoyed it of course give me a thumbs up that would be really nice and subscribe that would make me so much happy i'm so happy of every one of you who already decided to so yeah, I love to get in contact with you. So write me a comment. You can even also write me like personally in, in case you prefer that way. But leaving comment is so much fun. I love to read them, like to answer them. I love every one of you who decided to like subscribe to this channel. I'm so thankful for all the few that already did and it makes me so much happy if you do it as well and if not just maybe a like would be also really fun <laughs> and I'm really happy in case you liked this video like my new big haul and yeah I will, I will see you in the next one I will show you the small ones um, now and yeah Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful week. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.